Well, Tara Talage is back to report on this next story. Sam Pittman's return to Arkansas is four months old, but as soon as sports came to a stop the second week of March, Pittman missed out on a good chunk of quality time with his program. Earlier this month, the SEC expanded virtual meetings per week from two to four hours. But Pittman addressed the unusual time we live in during an interview with Jason and John 92.9 in Memphis. Obviously, we don't we don't know our team uh, quite as well as everybody else because we didn't have a, a day of spring ball. The Razorbacks should have been through at least nine spring practices by now. But instead, Sam Pittman and his staff were trying to coach the team over the phone and online. It is weird, I guess is the word, or different coming into work and and uh, there's nobody here, you know, including the kids, the coaches and all that. But we're getting our work done over Zoom and, and we, we meet twice a day as a staff and they meet with their players. But Pittman says he'd like to have everyone on campus by July 1st and get at least four to six weeks of practice in. Not only so that everyone can learn the new system, but also to build a bond with his players. I want to get to know them. They need to get to know us. we got to get to where we can run through a brick wall together and and uh, you need to be around each other to be able to uh, get that strong trust bond. Now, should he only have a month or so of practice, Pittman says he hopes to get some extra time with the newcomers. I do think that we need to have some hands-on uh, individual type drills, things of that nature, uh, if we come in July 1 or later, because if we don't, then you're really, really hurting uh, the freshmen. No matter the amount of practice the team gets, though, Pittman's goal remains the same. Make the state of Arkansas proud. We want our fans to leave the game uh, happy with, with the product that we're with our kids that we're throwing out there. And to do that, you have to be tough. You have to be physical. You have to be disciplined. You know, you can't hand the game over. Somebody's got to beat you if they're going to beat you. You can't hand the game over to them. Those are things that I think that, that are a staple of our program. Reporting for the Pig Trail Nation, I'm Tara Talmadge.